Yo, what is good? I really do love Tower of God's characters. Not only did they bring back my boy Ku and showcase what he's been up to this whole entire time, but we really get to see the dark side of Rachel and knowing that she's just playing every single person still and that he pulled her out of the Tower race for a little bit so he can actually get a whole new team and get them away from the people our main character has already set up to be amazing and nice, heartfelt people who are willing to work with each other instead of absolutely destroy each other. And then I got an anime short coming out with this ridiculously strong kid, Rain, to show you just how he is the strongest in the group overall. And maybe not so strong as the head family member, but. He's definitely number one when it comes to fighters, and I can't wait to see what Ku has cooked up for Rachel. She deserves everything that's coming towards her in the dark way. Outside of that, my boy in the Sword and Wands anime is giving us another look at all the top tier characters, but those same top tier characters are cool and all, making all their points, showing off their one uh, magic that they're mastering and they're probably not going to be able to use any elements outside of it but this ice guy after he not only takes other people's targets just to flex and still doesn't make more points than the other people he then goes to the dwarf cavern and makes fun of all of them in front of the wrong person and it is amazing what he could do if he had his sword he would have destroyed all of them so Overall, man, I'm really curious to see how this is going to play out in the games because we know this ice guy deserves to be slapped for everything. Like, subscribe.